way I made my wine bottle hummingbird feeder. I took a colored wine bottle because it looks nicer hanging on the porch. Stiff piece of aluminum wire wrapped it around the neck nice and tight using a pair of pliers to start to bend and get it right and to squeeze it around. Then I loosely wrapped it around the bottle. It had enough to make a straight end to hook through a little loop on this hanger that we usually have flowers, flower basket hanging from. Now this is a screw cap wine bottle. I took a quarter inch drill, put a hole right through the middle of the cap, and took a drinking straw with a little accordion bend in it, snipped it off so there's about two inches up the neck of the bottle and bent the straw up around and uh, taped it in, in an upright position. I, I did try a shorter one, probably about an inch shorter, and uh, it didn't create a vacuum in the bottle and uh, it just drained out at a very rapid rate. It would gurgle and spit about every three minutes until it would drained the bottle. So I boarded uh, the shorter straw and got, left it uh, untrimmed on the drinking end. Then I used some uh, gutter seal or if you have a waterproof glue to make sure it didn't leak around the quarter inch hole in the screw cap. Then I took a piece of red plastic bag that our newspaper comes in and made a little flyer over the end. I used a little bit of glue to keep that from blowing around too much. And I just put this up yesterday and he found it today, hummingbird, and he comes about every eight minutes so far. I was able to catch him on tape. So the whole thing didn't cost me anything. I had everything that uh, I needed. And that's a nice easy way to make a hummingbird feed it off. The problem is that when the sun hits this bottle, it will force out liquid and it will end up on the ground, porch, sidewalk, whatever it's hanging over, so I have a bucket underneath this for right now. I don't know how to avoid that because when the sun hits that water, or the bottle, and warms up the air that's in it, and the sugar water that's in it, it will force it out the straw. There's just no way around that. To, it increases the pressure inside the bottle and it drips. Now this has been hanging here for two days. I didn't have it I only had it filled to about that far above the label, so I've only lost that much in two days. So that's acceptable. Recipe for the fluid that's in there, he seems to enjoy it, is four cups of water, half a cup of sugar. Heat it up until the sugar dissolves, and uh, use a funnel to pour it into the bottle, and you have yourself a hummingbird feeder. Keep this straw as upright as you can. I actually added a piece of tape to uh, because then, uh, it ne wouldn't naturally stay up that erect. So I put a piece of tape on there to keep it pointing a little bit higher because if it flattens out it will still start circulating air and you'll lose all your liquid. There's your wine bottle hummingbird feeder.